I'm going to take you through some hip opening stretches for your hip flexor. So we're going to start by coming down into this half kneel position. The alignment that we're looking for for your starting position is we want our front ankle underneath our knee and our trail knee underneath our hip. I'm not overly concerned about whether your foot is tucked under or pointed, whatever feels more comfortable. I do find personally I get a little bit more leverage with my foot tucked under. Make sure that you have support underneath your knee and then a dowel will also be useful to help with uh, providing a little bit of upper extremity and trunk support while you're working through the exercises. So the first one we're gonna work through is our hip flexor pails and rails, that push-pull at end range to help open up that deep hip flexor. So I'm here in my setup, I'm using my dowel here for a little bit of leverage and a little bit of support. And I'm going to squeeze my glute on my trail leg, tuck my tailbone under and then lunge forward. That's gonna bring you into your true hip extension. Find that position and we're gonna hold. Ideally, we're holding this stretch at least a minute to two minutes. So at any time, if you'd like to hold any of the stretches longer, feel free to pause the camera. The push-pull at our end range is gonna help open up that joint and strengthen that joint at our end range. So what I want you to imagine, and I'll use this yoga block here to give you a visual, is imagine I have something in front of my knee here. And I'm gonna to try to drive my knee forward into the object. So I'm pushing my knee forward. Obviously I'm at my end range, so nothing's gonna happen. After I ramp you up to your 100% effort, we're gonna go into our rails contraction. So it's gonna be the reverse. I'm gonna to try to pull that knee away from our objects. And that's gonna get you more into this front split position. You might even feel that you can lunge a little bit more forward as you're going through. But the thing that I want you to think about is when we're in our rails, think about creating that movement from your glute tissue and this trail back complex. It's pulling the leg behind you versus the front leg just lunging more forward. All right, so we're in that nice end range stretch. Let's start our, push, our first push. So our pails. Let's start driving that knee. Push it into that object in front of the knee. 20% effort. Ramp it up to 40, 60, 80. 100% effort, safest, greatest, greatest effort. Let's bring that knee forward for five, four, three, two, one. The reverse, try to pull that trail leg behind you. Use your butt cheek, squeeze, pull, pull, pull that knee behind you. For five, four, three, two, one and relax that contraction. Feel a deeper stretch in the front of that hip. We're gonna go for a second round here. While you're in this position, just observe, is your pelvis square forward or have you started to open out to the side? We don't wanna open that pelvis to the side here. So making sure you're at your end range here, we're gonna do another round of this push-pull exercise, our pails and rails we call it in the therapy world. All right, trail leg. Let's start driving that knee forward into our object. Let's go 40% effort. Ramp it up to 60, 80, 100%. Safest, greatest effort. Bring that knee forward into the object. You should feel that quad tissue working all the way up into your hip for five, four, three, two, one, now the reverse. Use that butt cheek, use that hamstring. Pull the leg behind you, see if you can get deeper into this stretch here. Notice that my chest is upright. I'm not hinging forward. Try to pull that leg deeper behind you for five, four, three, two, one. And relax into that new end range. Good, now we're gonna work through strengthening through the range with our eccentric neural grooving. So I like to use a dowel for a little bit of support here. If, you're at, if you are at home, feel free to use a broomstick, a hockey stick, 
golf club. I'm not sure how sturdy a golf club is, but you could. <laughs> All right, so remember our initial cues. We're gonna tuck that tailbone under. We're gonna squeeze our butt cheek. And then from here, I want you to think about activating this tissue in the front of the leg. So to do that, I want you to think about driving that leg forward. Again, we have our object here. I'm gonna to try to almost like I'm kicking an object there with my knee. I'm gonna keep that activation for the entire time. So from here, um, tissue is activated and now I'm going to try to lunge forward. So I'm bending that front leg more and more till I hit my end range. Once I get to the very end, I'm gonna use assistance. I'm gonna assist up and I'm gonna power through that front leg back to my start position. So we're gonna run through four more of these together. All right, so let's activate this whole quad tissue. I'm gonna imagine that I'm trying to drive that knee forward into an object. Keep that drive forward as I start lunging deeper and deeper into this position. Find that end range. Once you can't go any further, I'm assisting myself back up. That's number two. We got three here. Drive that knee forward. Keep that drive forward as you lunge. Opening up the tissue into that lengthened position on that trail leg, the front of the hip, you should feel. Hit your end range, assist up. Two more. Drive that knee forward. Let's go, lunge. Lengthen that quad on the right trail leg. Assist up. We got one last one here. Drive and lunge forward. Keep driving all the way to the bitter end here. Good, and we assist up. In the therapy world, we call that eccentric neuro grooving. We're basically lengthening the tissue under load, which is giving it a nice strengthening component through the range. All right, let's focus on that front leg. So we're gonna do our hamstring on this front leg. So from here, if you'd like two objects, feel free to use that. I'm gonna start straightening that front leg. Now we don't wanna irritate our sciatic nerve, which is the nerve, sorry, <laughs> that runs all the way down the back of our leg here. So if you're finding you get into a straight leg position and you're getting numbness tingling or some a real tension feeling versus a stretching feeling, then I want you to apply a little bit of a knee bend, about 20 degrees, okay? But if you feel like you can keep that leg straight, do so, hip hinge forward like I'm taking a bow. Again, trunk is nice and long and provide yourself with some hand support here. This is gonna be really important for the next part of the drill. So I'm in my nice stretch. I'm feeling a good stretch behind my knee, behind my thigh, all the way up into my left butt cheek. We're gonna hold this stretch again for that nice two minute period. Feel free to pause the camera if necessary. Other things that are important while you're in this stretch is, again, I don't want you to open up the pelvis. Keep everything squared forward. We're gonna do our push-pull in this position. So the pales contraction is gonna be our push. So I'm gonna to try to push or dig that heel in towards the ground. And then the rails, which is then starting to strengthen deeper into that end range, I'm gonna to try to lift my leg or pull my leg off the ground, trying to bring my thigh all the way up to my chest here. We're gonna run through two rounds of this and then we're gonna finish off with a short hamstring exercise. This, as you can see, is a long hamstring exercise. So I'm strengthening the hamstring in a long position. The next drill will be a shortened position. All right, let's get right into this. So I'm at my end range here. I'm gonna tr start trying to bring my heel down into the ground. We're pushing that leg all the way into the ground. 20% effort. Ramp it up to 40, 60. 80, 100% effort for five, four, three, two, one. The reverse, try to lift the leg off the ground. Try to get that thigh to touch your chest. You're at your end range, so not a lot's gonna happen, 
but you should feel that front hip working. Lift, lift, lift for five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Relax there, stay at your end range. I'm gonna do a quick little rest here. Let our nervous system relax. Take a couple deep breaths and we'll get into a second round here. All right, Whew. second round. Let's start ramping up that intensity of effort. Start bringing that heel down into the ground, front leg. Pull it down to the ground, sorry, push it down to the ground. <laughs> 40%. 60, 80, 100% effort for five, four, three, two, one. Last lift, 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 lift. Try to bring that thigh up towards your chest. Get lighter on that front foot. Don't let the rest of the body move. Only working through that hip for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Excellent. Okay, so I promised you some short hamstring work. So we're gonna come back to our trail leg here. One more drill. So some people refer to this as a couch stretch. And I'm gonna use this setup over here. Feel free to use a couch at home or stack a couple pillows. All right, so your setup is gonna look like this. Again, our front knee is over top of our front ankle. Trail knee is behind, or sorry, underneath our trail hip. Use your dowel for a little bit of support. And then the other thing is, a lot of people ask, how do I know I'm in my end range? So things that you can try is, you're gonna tuck your tailbone under. You're gonna squeeze your butt cheek. Drive forward so that you're at your hip extension and range. And now at this stage, can you bend and lift that heel off of your object? You might find this hamstring is not used to working in this range, so it's gonna to wanna to cramp on you. So if it cramps instantly, come off a little bit. If you're finding that you get a really big lift, which I did not, I'm fairly close to my end range and strength here. It, but if you lift off your object and that heel touches your butt cheek, then what I want you to do is I want you to get a little bit closer to the couch so you're working at your end range. So we talked about our push-pull drill. We're gonna do that here, but instead of it coming from up here in the hip, we're gonna work down at this knee joint here. Our big quad muscle attaches up here, goes through the knee, attaches below. So we're in this full lengthened position. The other thing we're gonna be working is this hamstring. Our hamstring bends that knee joint and it extends the hip. Notice that I'm at my end range here. So this hamstring is working in that really short position which a lot of us are weak on. So that's where we're gonna be doing our pails and rails, our push-pull drill. Okay, so we've been in this nice stretch for a good amount of time, probably close to two minutes here. So let's get right back into it. We're gonna finish off this with one set of our pails and rails. If you feel like doing a second at home, feel free. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that tailbone's tuck, glutes engage, shifting my weight forward. And from here, I want you to take your trail leg, your foot, your knee, try to straighten your knee and try to drive that foot down into your couch. Let's go 20% effort, 40, 60, 80, 100% effort here. Really try to open up the front of the hip as well as straighten that trail leg. Think about straightening the knee for five, four, three, two, one. Next one, this one's a doozy. Try to bend that knee, lift that foot off of the couch, off of your object. Feel that hamstring work. Flirt with that cramp, but don't let it cramp. Go for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo. So let's do one more, I lied. We're gonna relax here for just 20 seconds. Take a deep breath and see if you can do a little bit more effort this time. 
and see if you can get a little bit more lift. Get lighter on that foot behind you on that rails contraction. All right, here we go. Last one of the class here. Let's try to drive that foot down into the couch. Straighten that knee, 40%. 60, 80, 100% for five, four, three, two, one, and switch direction. Try to bend that knee, bend that knee, lift, lift, lift the foot off. Feel that hamstring work for five, four, three, two, one, and relax the contraction. Excellent. So we kind of worked in left leg forward, right leg, trail leg position. So what I'd like you to do is pause, start back at the beginning, and you're gonna do the opposite side here. 